Hi, how you doing? I'm Ryan with Allfill. What you have right here is a twin auger fill by weight bag filler, okay? Fill by weight, why? This is a volumetric filler that's gonna incorporate a scale, okay? A scale, or commonly known in the industry as a load cell, is a way that we get accurately, we can accurately fill bottles or bags. In this particular case, we're gonna fill a bag. So as you can see, we have a pre-made bag here, okay? And the pre-made bag, it can be an automated process, but if it's gonna be a semi-automated fill by weight process, what we're gonna utilize is this bladder here, okay? It's an inflatable bladder, and the bladder is attached to the load cell. Every time that we inflate the bladder, the load cell is gonna tear itself to zero and then allow us to fill by weight. So we're gonna use auger revolutions, incorporate the scale to fill by weight. Now in this particular case, well, first of all, I should mention, instead of using a bladder, we can also use a bag clamp. It's just a different method for holding the bag in place. Whereas in this case, the bladder is gonna inflate and hold the bag. The bag clamp, you can press the foot switch the same way we initiate the bladder, and it's gonna hold the bag open like that. So two different styles, your salesperson will tell you which is the most appropriate for your application. Um, so right here in the auger filler that's mounted above the bladder, we have two heads. We call this a twin auger. It's a Siamese hopper, if you will. And what we do is we have two fill heads that are gonna combine into a common transfer funnel in order to speed up the bulk filling process. In order to get any kind of decent rates on a fill by weight application, because we have to allow the scale to do its work, we combine the two heads. It can also be a single head, but in this case for a little bit increased capacity, probably another bag, maybe a bag and a half per minute, we go to two of these, which decreases the bulk fill speed, or the bulk fill time, I should say. In addition to that feature, the common collector funnel is accompanied by two dust ports, okay? And these dust ports or dust shrouds allow you to hook up a vacuum um, a dust collection system so you can minimize the dust. We're gonna show you what happens when we fill this bag without dust collection, and then we'll do the second fill with the dust collection. You can see a drastic difference. So right here, we're gonna go for 20 pounds as our target weight, okay? The screen right there, it says that the filler is waiting for initiation, and that's gonna be my foot interacting with the foot switch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our pre-made bag, we're gonna put it around the bladder, and when we press the foot switch, the bladder is gonna inflate and hold the bag on, okay? And then what's gonna happen is the bag is gonna be teared to zero. So regardless of what the bag, the box, the bottle weighs, it's always gonna be teared to zero so that we can, we can evaluate what the gross con or the net contents of the product in the bag are. So I'm gonna hit the foot switch here, the bladder is going to inflate, it's going to tear it to zero. The first cycle that we see right there, notice how much product escapes, is the bulk fill sequence. In this case, we're trying to fill 20 bags, we're getting about 17 or so pounds on the very first bulk fill, which is auger one and auger two combining to fill 17 pounds. After that, the scale evaluates the 17 pounds that was put in and realizes what kind of dribble revolutions both of these augers have to make in order to top the bag off to get the 20, okay? So if we focus in on the screen here, we can see that we got 19.99 pounds, very close to the 20, which is the goal. And what's gonna happen is every time we run this, the revolutions are gonna slightly change so that we improve our accuracy, okay? The fill's always gonna remain relatively the same. It can be adjusted through the HMI, but the accuracy should continue to improve. So now what we're gonna do to get the bag off the bladder and also the bag clamp if we were to go that route, hit the foot switch again, okay? And you have your filled contents in, okay? And we're gonna do another fill right here where we're gonna turn the vacuum on this time so you're gonna see how much cleaner of an operation it is. Again, commercial vacuums can be used. Also down and dirty shop vacs that you can get at any hardware store are great too. So same process. Put the bag on the bladder, step on the foot switch, the bladder inflates, there's the bulk fill. You can see how all the dust is extracted through the dust ports, the dribble fill, and if you look at the improved weight, we improved to get the 20.00. So in a nutshell, that is your twin auger fill by weight system. We can use the bladder, we can use a bag clamp. Um, you can do this in line with conveyors, um, the possibilities are endless with fill by weight, 
but people are buying fill by weight machines because they want accuracy. That's what matters most. Typically, all Phil likes to do fill by weight for five pounds and above. After that, you sort of lose control on a volumetric fill, so we incorporate the scale. That's everything, thanks a lot.